Okay, so we have six piers here and today is actually really, really amazing because we are doing quite a significant test. We're connected with six piers with a much bigger and more complex infrastructure which we've put together. Firstly, we have a local Wi-Fi network which we have connected here where three, um, actually uh, four piers are connected to the local network. And then what we have is we have um, streaming with the Luna Mesh over the water to further distances where other networks can be created. Now, what we're gonna do is, is we're going to showcase also the real time by flying with the drone to also show you the distances and everything that we are uh, doing and that this is real time. So, uh, firstly, I would like to ask everyone to unmute themselves and please tell me what is the time right now there by you. So, I have a 12.43, uh, Sunday 23rd of July. Okay, thank you, Dad. For me, it's the same. Okay. I can, I can show real Slovak time. This is the Slovak time as per the, international, the, the, the national clock of Slovakia. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna start the drone and then I'm gonna ask Eugene to maybe introduce a little bit the more complex network that we have and then we can have a little discussion with our six peers here of how amazing this actually is of what we're doing. So I'm gonna start. Eugene, please explain. Okay, today we have a much sophisticated topology uh, in our Luna uh, test segment. So we have combined uh, several long range uh, sub hertz links. One is up to 1.8 kilometer and the second one is uh, up to 1.6 kilometer. Uh, also we have uh, enabled several uh, regular Wi-Fi access points uh, for 5 and 2.4 megahertz. It's uh, all this network is combined in uh, generic uh, internet locking infrastructure of Luna Mesh, and uh, we have pretty good connect connectivity with uh, such long distances, and uh, we have uh, possibility to add uh, many clients in regular Wi-Fi hotspots and combine and make them all work, work together. I think this is uh, amazing now. I would like to say that we are connecting on the Danube River. This is the, the same location as last time, but we are from one side. This is one of the shore, on the other side, another shore, and then in a little peninsula on the left hand side. Then the topology is like the water, and we have also these uh, shores on each side. Then we have like a triangle uh, between the water. Yeah. I am right now in the new location. I'm opposite side of the river than uh, Michael and Oki. And our distance from them is uh, approximately 2.5 kilometer. So I am on the opposite side of Attila. And uh, according to the exact calculation, it's 2.57 kilometer. What I can say is that what is most amazing is the Danube River makes here like a meander lake and um, so the streaming is across the river uh, and across this lake and covering quite a large distance. I'm approximately 150 meters from Eugene and about 150 meters from Chris on a local area network uh, where we are connected here locally. Yeah, and uh, I'm just uh, in between in the middle of everybody here. Uh, about 150 from Michael, 150 from uh, Oki, and 150 from Eugene, and then of course 2.7, 2.6 uh, uh, kilometers um, from uh, I, Attila out there. 
I am so. approaching where Rastislav is right now in the restaurant. And I'm gonna come down a little bit to show where Rastislav is. I see the drone now, it's very close. And I will now go to Attila. I think that uh, with the setup this morning, uh, we looks like we have lost visuals of Eugene from his uh, uh, laptop. Uh, but the connectivity is still working 100%, where he is, uh, uh, where it is uh, uh, streaming from the Luna Maze device. It is the reason why. Uh, Eugene is not here is because he his, ba his battery died. Uh, so it was just a uh, his battery uh, died battery. in this process. During the process, oh no, we lost Eugene. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. So, uh, but he's uh, in fact uh, very close. But you see the mesh the topology or mesh connectivity because uh, if you are just going out from the connection, you are losing. But then you can go back and be already in the inclusion of the connectivity because it's connecting like uh, to our parts and some other parts in the uh, point of presence. Then if you have point of presence, you can inter interconnect in your vicinity and then you can just also use antenna for longer distances. Then you can uh, make a kind of uh, topology what you need. I'm trying to find Attila in the bush. <laughs> Team Bushman. I would like to say like here is like a harbor and you can also equip the uh, Luna devices on the uh, ships or boats and also put their om omnidirectional antennas and put like a, a boat in the river and then you can interconnect with that. Now it's uh, better to I test it on you. seashores, but we can do it later also on some moving vehicles. I think I found you. Yes, I can see a drone. See the drone. There's a bird coming. I'm waving to you. Hello, Oki. Okay. Hello, Attila. There's Daniel sitting also. Okay, I'm coming home now. And here I can see the drone coming. I can spot the drone. And the drone is here with me. I will bring the drone so you guys can see the drone here behind me. And we're landing, and that is it. So guys, thank you very much for participating in this. This is absolutely amazing, an amazing connectivity. Also, I think what is really awesome is the fact that Eugene dropped off the call and it showed that the super node transferred from one individual to another individual, making this entirely serverless. So this is the important part that you actually see here is that even if one of the even if the host of the room has left it transfers the super node to a new representative making it entirely peer to peer and fully decentralized that is one of the most important things and an amazing thing for us to actually see the individual can reconnect in no problem but the super node is now someone else. So thank you very much for participating in this. I think this was an awesome take. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.